Again, this is Troy Vaughn, also known as Trey Amazing, your favorite part-time stripper, part-time megatrust pastor, but full-time dating commentator. And again and again, we say ding, ding, ding. This is Ringside Presents Corner Confessions. And you guys, if you don't know by now, you guys may be late. This is my favorite couple. These two have been down and been supportive of the channel since the beginning. I love interviewing them. We got my man D Black and his epic and illustrious lady, Lady V, hey. in the house, oh, as hey. usual, looking good. Thank so you. again, anybody who's on my channel, they should know who you are. But <laughs> for the lames out there who, mm -hmm. you know, just now getting the memo, kind of break down, you know, what makes Lady V and D Black Lady V and D Black, and what you guys, what are you known for? Well, first, where have you guys been? Under right. The rock. That's first, I'm in a rock, right? Under right. Rock. <laughs> but we're, I'm Sexpert Lady V. And Sexer, Sexpert DH Sexer. Black. Oh, <laughs> Sexpert DH Black, the one and only. The one and um, only. And we've been married for going on, I'll Eight? be 18 years this June 19th. So, Congrats. our anniversary of meeting was March 16th of this year, so. This makes 18 years for so, us, so mm -hmm. we're um, happy to celebrate some more. And we've been open for about 16 years. We yeah. have also have been teaching um, for about 14, a little bit over 14 years, um, teaching our, our famous classes, face sitting. Mm -hmm. And everyone loves face sitting. So, <laughs> Bay is bisexual. Bay is bisexual now, now with snacks. Um, that's where we open up about um, bisexuality with couples and just talk about it and break it down. Um, then we have Don't Forget the Balls, Please. please. <laughs> I, uh, that one I didn't hear of, so that yes. was yeah, Don't yeah. Forget About the Balls. That, yeah. I, don't yeah, Forget, don't the, forget balls. the Balls, please. please. That sounds please. like a very, very just important. Um, it sounds self-explanatory, but what is Don't Forget the Balls, Please about? It, it's pretty much about the balls. Yeah. All about the balls. <laughs> it's, about the balls. it's mainly, it's mostly forgotten because a lot of guys like myself, sometimes I don't like my balls played with. Mm. But for the select few, it's like, don't forget about my balls, please. Those are the people who like it, but women not really into it. Or you have women who are into it, but their partners who aren't into it. So we kind of break it down for them into how to get into it. Or you have ladies that don't know what to do with it. Exactly. Like, you can't just leave them hanging. Like, what do yeah. you do? So we teach them techniques and things that you can do, even edible stuff that you're able to mm -hmm. take while, you know, engaging. Mm. So, you, you know, some people don't like the taste. So, you know, there's different techniques and different things that we can help out with. Mm -hmm. And you can't forget that I'm an author. So mm -hmm. I, Lady B, <laughs> I wrote a book called The Buy Me. So it, that's pretty much tells you all about us. Okay. And just FYI for the subscribers out there, for the people viewing, um, the links to the books and to their uh, website and where you can find them will be in the description. So uh, check it out. So let's, you know, let's dive into this. Okay? Let's go. This let's, is round let's, four. This is, this is four. Round four. Let's go. Round all four. right. So uh, big shout out to the both of you for giving me this idea i didn't think about it until you said something i had to think about okay we covered you know some great topics um <laughs> you guys you know <laughs> views wise you guys are at the very top of the channel yeah. so yes. needless to say you guys are very popular however box office draw you, you really are you really are but we can't we'd be remiss mm -hmm. if we did not talk about this one very important topic that is pervasive that a lot of people, a lot of couples are going through, mm -hmm. but they may not exactly know how to bring it up, mm -hmm. so to speak. And the topic we're going to talk about today is threesomes. Primarily, ah. how does, regardless if you're the man, the woman, or mm -hmm. whatever, man, man, woman, woman, if you are someone who is curious, you're thinking about it, it's a mm -hmm. fantasy, if you want a threesome and you are in you know, whatever, monogamous, non-monogamous relationship or marriage, how do you bring that up? What is, you know, is that something you take your, your partner out for brunch? 
and just say, hey, <laughs> something's on my mind, or is this something you bring up at the dinner table, or mm -hmm. do you send them an email? Like, mm -mm. you know, <laughs> what do you do when, when you when you have, I mean, okay, let's, let's, let's paint the picture. If you have seemingly a vanilla couple, mm -hmm. okay. but somebody in that vanilla couple is thinking and fantasizing about wanting a threesome, how would you... The black lady V, if you had to instruct that person and they're saying, how do I bring this up to my significant other, what would you tell them? Well, you definitely don't want to um, send a text message or email. Because you can't send not, a text message? Yeah, you, you can't do that because it kind of, oh. you can't see that person's reaction. It doesn't come across very well. So you first want to at least do it somewhere in whether you're alone or by yourselves. We like to call it pillow talking. We like to just express our fantasies. Like it may be just random at night, you know, we're trying to get in the mood or just, just chilling at kids or sleep or whatever and we're just talking about what's our fantasies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 20 questions. 20 questions, yeah. 20 questions. Um, we, a, a lot can be asked and answered in 20 questions. Yeah. Innocent and it's, questions. And it's 20 random questions. Mm -hmm. So you can go from hot to cold to cold to lukewarm. Mm -hmm. You know, um, you know your mate mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Like, we can give you... 15,000 points, okay? But no one is like your mate. You know your mate. So mm -hmm. you know how they talk. You know how they are. So you know um, how to approach it in a way that it doesn't offend them. Mm -hmm. Because one thing I always say is people without voices can't be heard. So, yeah, right. you know, if you... And then closed legs, don't get don't fucked. fucked. So... <laughs> closed mouths don't get clipped fed and closed legs don't get fucked. So. Fact. So, you know, it's it's not what you say, it's how Portables. you say it. Yes, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So, you know how to approach your mate in a way that they may seem like, you know what, you know, that's a good idea. Yeah. And you, you be realistic, you, you don't know? Wanna, you don't want to do it when they when you know they just had a bad day yeah, at work. Yeah, you know they just, or they just, they just pissed off. Yelling at the kids. They had a hard day yelling at the kids or so, doing something else. So, they else. just get home yeah. just fighting no. traffic. No, no. no. Just traffic, dealing with the no. boss. Somebody cut them off, something like that. But no, you don't want to do that. You want to do it when they are at a at a when their guards are down. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then like even maybe a, a intimate dinner, mm -hmm. and you can play like we call twenty, 20 questions, questions. Well, 20 and twenty questions. twenty questions, and you ask your mate, and, and it goes back and forth, and just ask some random questions just to see where the head is at. Like an icebreaker. Just yeah. Kind of test the waters. Yeah. yeah. Like, hey, what do you think about this? That's my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite question. Is, hey, daddy, what do you think about, you know, this female? What do you think about having her over? Mm -hmm. And he'd be like, oh, let me, you know, let me see. Or what do you think about this scenario? What do you think? What do you think about this taking place? Or how do you feel about me, um, us going to a, a swinger party or to the loft or somewhere mm -hmm. like that? Mm -hmm. It's all on how you say it. Like she said, Okay. No, no, that, baby. It's all on how you say it. Like my old folks used to say, you catch more flies with honey than you can with poop. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, so it's how you say it. Yeah, so. And you just wrap it nice in a gift little bow, then. So, so the presentation. Little, presentation the is presentation everything. Presentation is paramount everything. because. Yeah. Again, it's just, you know, you want to make sure your timing, mm -hmm. you know, is, is good. Make sure the setting. Uh, because, yeah. Something like that, when you you know when you're trying to fish for thoughts and you know gauge the reaction, it probably isn't best. You know when they've had a bad day, yeah. or yeah. you know when they're paying bills or you know cramping or time of yeah. It's like no, that's, those are times like you know what that's not the time to, <laughs> to bring it up. You want to bring not it up in an argument either. Like oh hey, then you know what? Let's just have a threesome. No, that's no. not the way to go. And a threesome won't repair your relationship if Fact. your foundation's already broken. It's not going to repair it anyway. So you adding someone to your um, mess, they're going to see the mess, and you don't want to mess up their nut. Yeah, and the guy. So, you know what, then, then, I'm glad that's a good segue. Uh -huh. So, you know, we got past that part, okay? So for the people out there viewing, they're going to take that first step. They're going to take that first piece of advice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, they're going to pick an intimate moment, play 20 questions, they gauge the responses, and they realize, okay, the person they're with, you know, they may be open. Mm -hmm. So what next? I mean, what are what would be the next step in terms of, okay, you both are on the same page as far as, you know, this is something we can try. Mm -hmm. But how do you pick a third? I mean, you know, what are, you know, what are the steps as far as, okay, 
do you pick a stranger? Mm -hmm. Do you pick somebody you know? No. Mm -hmm. You know, does it, does it? <laughs> Definitely not that. No. Mm -hmm. Definitely no, nobody no, you know. No. 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 <laughs> no. no. It's like a big X. No. Okay. First, remember, it's a conversation, it's communication. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to figure out what both of you guys like. Mm -hmm. You know, what kind of female you want? What kind, do you want to have a female in the bedroom? Do you want to have bring another guy in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, you have to go overall, figuring out the communication part first, right? Mm -hmm. And then once you figure out the communication, I always say, go get around people that know that that is doing what you want to do. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Find a community. You get what I'm saying? Find, your tribe. Find a tribe. Find a tribe. Find your tribe. It's very important because vanilla people are not gonna understand. Hey, I wanna I wanna have a threesome with my husband. What? What are you talking about? Right. Why Different reaction. You, yeah, why would you why would you do that? Why would you set your relationship up for failure? Because that's their first reaction. Because why? They're vanilla. They're not, you know, open to this lifestyle. So they're not going to understand very it. So you want to very conservative. Back. Right? So you yeah. want to find your tribe. Find yeah. people that think like you. And also reading the, the people who are around you. You know, mm -hmm. who, you know the people who are open to it. You know the people who are conservative. You know the people who are closed-minded. So you're not going to bring up something like that to somebody who's closed-minded. Because automatically it's going to get the reaction of a... Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Why would mm -hmm. you want to share your mate for? Very judgmental, do you know what very kind of, prudish. Do you know what kind of road you're going down? Like, yeah. Like, <laughs> and you don't want that. You, you're, you're, um, don't yuck somebody's yum. And like my husband says, like a threesome is not going to repair a relationship. Exactly. So it, it's actually the Sunday. It's like you can have your Sunday with or without sprinkles. Mm. You have your choice. So mm. the Sunday is your relationship. We go in as a team. That's important. You know, you can't go in as just, hey, you're going to do you, I'll do me, and we'll meet up at the end. Unless that's how your relationship is set. Now, if you're a veteran in this thing, you've been doing then it for different. a minute. Then I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm going my way. But, I'll see you when we meet up. Okay, great. Yeah, but for beginners, you want to <laughs> no. get, and then put realistic expectations. expectations. Mm. Unrealistic expectations is going to set you up for failure. Mm. You know what? I'm, okay. From there, right? Because again, you're looking like this is good. <laughs> no, this, this is great information. It's great. <laughs> but you know what? I'm thinking, you know, and I don't have the data to mm -hmm. support this. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking having a threesome has to be with a lot of people in their top three or top five fantasies. Mm -hmm. so, you know, mm -hmm. It's got to be up there somewhere. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for a lot of people, and I'm not saying everybody, you know, they may see threesomes. They may, you know, their understanding may get from what they see in a porn. Mm -hmm. you know, in a, in a, or not, you know, that's totally different, mm -hmm. right? And so, and that's what I'm saying. So, what we sometimes, and we know this from other things, what we see in a in a you know pornographic movie doesn't always translate the the exact same way in real life. Exactly. So, from what we see in porn movies, you know, when you see threesomes, it looks well, it looks beautiful, it looks well staged, mm -hmm. everybody's mm -hmm. getting their nut. But for for people who are just beginning. Mm -hmm. Never done this before. What are some things you would tell them? Like, look, regardless of what you've seen in the porn, these are the things that may happen. These are the things you may want to expect <laughs> your first time out doing a threesome. First off, what you see in porn is entertainment. Mm -hmm. That's entertainment. It's pure entertainment. Believe me, you in the five minutes that it took you to get your nut, it took them over three hours to film that five minute scene. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? So it's interesting. It's, it's a lot of behind the scenes. Um, yeah, it's a lot of behind the scenes, you know, moans and all of that stuff. It's, it, but it's great entertainment, not mm -hmm. to knock because we love our sex workers. But, <laughs> but go ahead, baby. Uh, it, uh, and also, it's uh, seeing somebody for the first time you have your mate and seeing somebody else naked and you have to perform. You can have performance anxiety. Anxiety. So, Ooh. I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, yeah, you might set yourself up for, all right, let's do it, but your soldier might not get up for attention. Yeah. So, a little stage anything, fright. Yeah, it's a little stage fright. Anything can happen in that moment. So, I mean, it's all on how you deal with that, and, and I'm sure for women, it's, it got to be. I was just about to say that jealousy, yeah. it, 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 you know, it's there. Let's be honest. You're seeing the mate, the person that you love, mm -hmm. having sex with someone else. 
regardless if it's a full swap or a partial swap. Either way, they're having sex with someone else. Mm -hmm. You have feelings with this person. So you want to definitely check you first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Know that this is something that you guys want to do mm -hmm. first and making sure you guys are equipping setting realistic expectations for rules let's mm -hmm. be we all deal by rules everybody's like oh no rules no you need rules you yeah. need to make sure you, you proof you your boundaries. relationship yeah boundaries hey what i'm comfortable with because guess what rules are definitely able to be changed mm -hmm. it doesn't have to stay the same but you want to set some kind of facts over yeah. time but you want to set some kind of boundaries to make sure that realistic we're, boundaries yeah we're both on the same page yeah. like you don't want to say hey you can't see no other female what you can't look at no other female while we at a party that's not realistic you, you get can, what i'm saying you can't you can have sex with her but you can't enjoy, enjoy it her. Like, like what do you mean what? it's a night you, I'm you want you. me to de detach myself from <laughs> like, no some of no. the stuff aren't on realistic so once you put that pressure on your mate and what have you then once it's time to happen it's like they're worried about okay am i going to upset this person I'm gonna yeah. make, am i going to make them feel some type of way and then it's like Okay, I don't want to make it seem like I'm enjoying this person too much. So now you now it becomes a like us men, we're in our head. So now it's like I gotta break this down. Oh, okay. So I can't miss her this much. So right. anything can happen. So now you're in your head. Now you just ruined the whole moment. Now afterwards, like you didn't get up for me and her. Like what's going yeah. on? Yeah, you know, I've, I've actually heard. Well, I mean, I've seen guys and some women on you know comment on social media. You know, I've seen people talk about the the fear of having a threesome is. You know, what if the third person and their mate, what if they're more into each other mm -hmm. and you're kind of just on the outside, like, okay, it's almost like a game of double dutch. Okay, when can I jump in? <laughs> you know, I've heard people say, well, what if, you know, they're more into each other and I'm left out? You know, do you think that's a realistic concern? Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. But you want to have communication mm -hmm. beforehand, even with the person you're bringing into your bedroom. What is their boundaries? Mm -hmm. What? Because one, one, I wanted to say this earlier. You can't control somebody else's night. Mm -hmm. You can't control how somebody else get off. Mm -hmm. You understand? This person may. I had one female. See, he already started laughing. I had mm -hmm. one female that literally said she loved my husband's dick mm. while she was riding him. Quite a compliment, bro. And I sat there, mm -hmm. and as you know, her husband doing what he doing. I, I, I paused for a second and it was like we were early into our relationship. This was not, this mm -hmm. was like, early. oh gosh. Um, but I paused for a second <clears throat> and I said, hey, I gotta go to the bathroom and baby, you should come with me too. And instead of me making it about what she said, because I can't control how she nuts or what satisfies her, mm -hmm. that's right. how she felt in that moment. And realistically, I had to swallow that for a second and said it wasn't nothing that he did. He just do what he normally do. He mm. lays it down. So <laughs> I can't control what she does. So, you know, in that moment, I just needed to be held. So, you know, I, I went into the bathroom and I said, babe, you know, that's how I, this is how I felt about that. Mm -hmm. Real quick. And we were in the bathroom alone, okay? Nobody was around us. I didn't start an argument while we were in the middle of intimacy, but I took it away and just said, this is how I feel right now. Do you, and he's like, babe, do you, are you ready to go? We can go, you know, it mm -hmm. could be an exit strategy. I'm like, nah, let's go back and finish. But I just needed to get that out of my system. Mm -hmm. And so when we got home, we had a full talk about it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's controlling your feelings, making sure, you know, realistically, you signed up for this. You're grown, right? You're an adult and you have sex. So you signed up for this occasion. Mm -hmm. You just got to know how to work with it. And mm -hmm. no feelings are going to be there. It gets easier as you go, mm -hmm. of course. But it's feelings a, are going to be there. It's a lot of trial and error. And I think it's just allowing your mate and allowing, your, allowing each other to make those trial and errors. I'm not talking about, okay, you... Calling somebody up and you cheating this and third. Mm -mm, we're not talking about, about that. Just like little, it's gonna be little hiccups with a threesome. Like it may be something that, even if it's a a, a guy with a female, it might be okay. Well, how come you got wetter with him than you did with yeah, me? Yeah, like mm. you you never yelled that loud with me. You know me. what I'm saying? It, Damn. It, could be, <laughs> it could be it's it's many different scenarios. Mm -hmm. So it's all on allowing your mate and allowing yourself not to be overcome with emotions and thinking the wrong way mm -hmm. and when you overthink things you start assuming things and you make an ass out of yourself and, and me. <laughs> and me. so definitely don't want to do that so it's good to have them a real conversation on okay this is how i felt 
okay, I know that you were you was enjoying it, but this is how it made me feel. Then we can talk about it later, or but it turned me on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you, it might Facts. it might be a, something that made me jealous or it made me feel some type of way, but it also sparked something in me. So you know, let me ask, and I'm not sure if you've ever, you know, if you've known couples who go through this mm -hmm. or if you've heard about this. You know, some couples who may have, you know, made their dive prematurely. Mm -hmm. Maybe they didn't have the greatest foundation, but they still opted to do a threesome. Mm -hmm. And as a result, their relationship or marriage became rockier mm -hmm. or, you know, more just more turbulent. Uh -huh. You know, how would you, how could a couple who's gone through this, they, you know, they indulge one another, they have threesome, it didn't go exactly the way they wanted, you know, maybe they dealt with some, you know, like you said, some performance anxiety or some jealousy or some insecurity mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now they may feel like you know our marriage is in a worse place you know to a couple like that what would you suggest as far as some things they can do to kind of you know get back to square one or you know either do a do-over or you know how do mm -hmm. we how do we fix this we tried a fantasy it didn't work the way we thought it would you know there's a difference between you know imagination and reality <laughs> for that couple who's trying to rebuild after a you know, a fluke of a threesome, you know, what are some things they can do to kind of get back on track and kind of, you know, start back in square one? Um, trusting your mate and communication, mm -hmm. trusting that your mate um, isn't going anywhere or whatever that's transpired isn't something that's as detrimental as you may think it is. Now, if it's just cheating, then that's something that's something else, but you can still get over that if you allow yourself and you're made to trust each other and continue on and just evolve into growth in your relationship because it's a hurt there. It's a hurt that's going to be there forever, but it's just that you have to get over that hurt. And mm -hmm. it may take some time, but eventually you'll get over it. Hopefully y'all still together, but <laughs> eventually it'll, it'll, it's just taking that time out to allow your mate to have that trial and error moment like we said er um, earlier. Um, just let them be. And, and, and eventually, y'all grow, y'all understand that, okay, this is this is what happened. This is the error of our ways. Have we done this a little bit better? Have we communicated this? We could have made this happen or we could have made this work. So it's just having that trust and communication. And mm -hmm. I, I agree with that. Thank and you. and also, you have to realize it wasn't the threesome mm -hmm. that caused the issue. Because the threesome will act, expose things. It was the act of whatever happened during the threesome. Mm -hmm. Either miscommunication, misunderstanding, non-communication, mm -hmm. a misfire, non-verbal communication, um, someone went against the rules. Mm -hmm. Threesomes have always been here. Threesomes are not the problem. It's, it's the communication within the relationship that mm -hmm. has to be worked on. Okay, so it, you know it's always good to even pause and say, you know what, we're gonna chill for a second, and we're gonna make sure we're good before we dive back into this again. Mm -hmm. You know, or it's okay to say, you know what, I don't want to try that again. It's not for us. That's okay, but don't forget to keep your bedroom spicy. You don't have to bring in someone to keep your bedroom spicy. True. But the illusion, maybe change your wig. Maybe, mm -hmm. you know, do Role something, play. become fancy. You know, you <laughs> don't have to bring another person, but keep the bedroom going. Mm -hmm. And keep that communication going. You know, the threesomes is just the, like I said, the sprinkle on the Sundays. But, you know, your relationship is what matters. Me and my husband have had several threesomes and foursome things, quadrisms. Oh, okay. And oh, wow. we have taken several breaks where we were not doing anything for a year and a half, two mm -hmm. years, just to, you know, make sure we're still, because what's important is our relationship. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can't you can't rely on a threesome or whatever. To, to maintain your relationship. Yeah, to maintain relationship, because you, you still need each other outside mm -hmm. of that. That's just an ex extracurriculum activity. Outside of that, it's just us. Mm -hmm. We still got to work on us. We still learning and, and, and learning new things about one another. So, I mean, that's just the, hey, celebration. Let's do this. Okay. <laughs> Let's call someone over. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, you know what? Um, I got to ask this. Now, typically with, um, you know, my Corner Confessions interviews, and really quickly out there, for those watching, all my subscribers, um, if you're on Facebook, make sure you type in Ringside LLC. 
find the digital community. Uh, request this is ringside the, the infamous ringside group request to join the group and either myself or one of the admins will admit you now and we're in the group and they are, they are definitely <laughs> in the group and we are we promote them in the group big yes, time yes so you know typically you know for the people I interview I don't bring up their personal lives unless mm -hmm. they bring it up you know I try mm -hmm. to I try to maintain that boundary like you know we just talk about this. except for us <laughs> Now, with y'all, you know, we got to make the exception because you guys are very open. and mm -mm. But you guys are open to the point where it's very informative and it helps mm -hmm. a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And I, this is a very important topic that there are going to be people watching this like, okay, take some notes. Mm -hmm. So from you, from your experience, you know, kind of walk through what is your process like? You know, how do you vet or interview <laughs> a third or fourth? Like if you two are out, you know. Do you guys go to a, a certain setting, or do you go to a trapeze, <laughs> or some sort of party, or like how do you, when you're out, do you say, you know, babe, look at her, or look at, like, what is the process as far as, you know, identifying, drawing the person in, and interviewing, you know, the the extra partner, like, what are what are the, the D and, and Lady V steps on interviewing, you know, third, <laughs> third um, or, or a couple? I think it's, um, we, it's... We like we said, we're random. We're random. We, we may not <laughs> we may not see them publicly or something like that. We may hit them up online. Like we've like lately, we've been finding people online. Mm -hmm. So um, so not you, so it's not like you mean people. No, 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 no. It's no, not no, like no, a no, Kroger no, no, no. or not like no, we're well, going out to. Well, well, we have in a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, the waitress. yeah. But that was back in the day, but yeah. not recently. Like, <laughs> and in the early twenty twenties and whatnot. But yeah, it's been kind of online. So. The people we meet online, we see them, we might set something up, hey, let's, you know, see what the vibe is. We talk, see where it goes, and if it happens, it happens. If not, then we'd be good friends, but um, that's how we vet them. We kind of, like, feel them out, talk mm -hmm. to them, see where their head is. Yeah, communication, and just kind of interview them. Mm -hmm. Like like it's a job application or something like but that. But not so. like not in high ass <laughs> professional. Not so structured. Not no, so structured. Like, no. Yeah. When but was your last, but when was your last threesome? But yeah, but you know what? Like, go on a Check. date. <laughs> go on a date. Um, I with like us that. meeting people, you know, I like hey, let's go out for lunch. It's it's during the afternoon. There's no expectations of anyone. You know, you're going out to have fun and just talk. Then the next date may be, hey, let's do this at night, mm -hmm. you know? It's, it's, you know, how, it's how you work it in. Mm -hmm. I know with our classes, we tell people um, with approaching someone that you may not know, you know, it's open to the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. you, if, it's, if it's a female, you want the female to go over and talk. You know, mm -hmm. like it's as simple as saying, hey, I like your hair or I like that outfit. Where did you get it from? And then the person will be like, oh, I got this from Rainbow or I got this from such and such. Really? It's, you know, you then the so female. Sexy you. You yeah, so you look so beautiful. Like, are you single? And that goes a long way compared to my husband going up to a female and she sees the ring on his finger thinking he's cheating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, you take a little different approach. Females, we always know how to talk to another female because, mm -hmm. you know, we want to know, you know, we want the same exact thing to be said to us. Hey, we look good. Hey, our outfit looks nice. You know, just, hey, this is my husband over here. You know, we're open in our relationship. And be honest because mm -hmm. you don't want to lead this person into thinking that you're just friends and you want more. Yeah, okay? I mean, but it's other um, avenues like... Pet life. Fat life. If you want yes. pet life or, or swing lifestyle, swing lifestyle or um, what's a adult friend finder or even on you know social media, mm -hmm. um, simple as a DM. Whereas you just set something up of, hey, would you like to meet? Let's see, let's see where we. Uh, let's go to the lock. Yeah, let's go to the lock. Because yeah. I mean, there are a lot of. I, mean, I know yeah. that there has to be like websites well, let's and go to dating Red apps, Lobster. you know, for. <laughs> Four people looking for yes. a third. Actually, That's Facebook, we has, Facebook has a dating what, a app. Dating app. <laughs> right. no. yeah. And, and uh, a lot of the females are bisexual, so they're like, hey, it's you and your husband, so, you know, mm -hmm. I'm interested. Or, you know, I had one female was like, oh, your husband looks fine. And I'm like, oh, thank you. He is. Because you'll, you know? <laughs> you'll be surprised who's into polyamory and mm -hmm. polyandry and who's into whatever else. So it's all on finding your tribe, like mm -hmm. you said. So. Once you find your tribe, like, okay, I know that if I'm on this app, I know I'm looking for a threesome or I'm looking and for And those a people are looking or, for the or, same thing. Or mm -hmm. even if you're just looking to date a couple, right? So it's, like, it's, you're looking for like-minded people. Mm -hmm. So let me ask you, okay, 
This is the last question, I promise. No, okay. you, can, you can ask us whatever you want. This could be an extended version. This is now, four. It's for round you four. Two, <laughs> do you, now, do you two collectively have a type that you like? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, you know, kind of break, like, okay, you know, if, if you see a woman, you know, do you, do you like them short? Do you like them tall? Do you like them thick? Us? Do you like them, yeah. I like them short, tall, thick. Is she? Okay. I, um, I think I'll it's, like, short, like accordion? <laughs> and, uh, um, I think is we like a confident feel. Yeah. We're okay. both confident in our looks and appearance and who we are as people. Um, because we, we are in the field that we're in, you have to have confidence. So someone that is confident, someone that knows her worth, you know, um, also someone that is thick. We like Short, thick tall. females, <laughs> you know, that's something that, you know, we can't have someone that's slim because I'm thick, hubby thick, like, we all got to be thick in yeah, the but not, not, <laughs> not with no, um, somebody with confidence, like you said, but not someone who has that who's ugly, their personality is ugly. ugly. Not you their... treat people ugly, so. Yeah. So if you have that, if you're sweet and you have that sweet personality and you're cool and you have a kink to yourself, then yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely your type. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and also someone who understands what we do. Mm -hmm. We're sex right. experts. Mm -hmm. And you can't, like, we're we're in so many conferences and arenas that we have to you guys people want that. Lady V and D Black to show up. We mm -hmm. can't go there looking like we're tied up and we gotta be flirtatious. We mm -hmm. got because that's what the people want. They right. like it. <laughs> they like yeah, Lady V. You can't you two can't be standoff. No, we can't, can't. be like, oh my god. At all. Like why were you flirting with well, that's, people? Yeah, it's like why no, would you why did you rub this lady's breast? Like that's just who we are. That's, that's our your, personality. That's part of your brand. Why yeah, she exactly. kiss you on your forehead for Yeah, no, so uh -uh. we can't have someone that's jealous, that's someone that's, you know, mm -hmm. overly Possessive. Overly yeah. possessive. That's the yeah. word I was looking for. Possessive. You know, because there are some people like, who, who the fuck are you talking to? Or, yes. Yeah, 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 there are some, and and we, I think a lot of people understand. You'd be surprised. One encounter or one date, pe there are some people get possessive like real quick. Exactly. Extremely quick. Like try to lock you down. We've had it happen. Yeah. yeah and so times. when they try to lock both of us down, it's like, wait, pause. Wait, you see what I do? You know, we teach. You know, we're at these conferences and people show up. I have a book on bisexuality. So, of course, ladies are going to come and flirt with me. Mm -hmm. That's automatic. So, you got to be able to handle that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we got to be... Comfort the territory. Yeah, comfort with the territory. So, that's, that's for us. Now, for everybody else, that may be different. Yeah. It may be different. It's all on finding somebody who kind of fits y'all so if you're into books find somebody who's into books mm -hmm. if you know somebody who's into cats. music cats or music Dogs. like if music. you know that person is yeah, allergic to cats then yeah. yeah you gotta have somebody equally if, yoked yeah if, much. If, if, if yeah equally yoked if you're pretty if you're a dog lover and you have someone that comes in that's allergic to dogs it it's not gonna work because as soon as they come now you gotta put up your dogs now your dogs don't want to meet the person now, you when, know it's like you gotta break out an EpiPen yeah, exactly. yeah it's not come on let's be realistic like, it's okay to differ but for the main parts that make you you for your functionality in life like you want somebody who's going to, who's going to be a part of that not somebody who's going to take away from that mm -hmm. and also bringing it back to the topic when searching for someone Mm -hmm. You want to search for someone as a couple. You want to search with someone that's going to have the same vibe as you. Mm -hmm. You know, because the connection works. The chemistry works in the bedroom if the chemistry works outside of the bedroom. Exactly. So it makes it more intense when you're, it's, it becomes an enjoyable experience mm -hmm. during mm -hmm. this threesome. You know, if the chemistry works all the way around. Indeed. Because your nut is valuable. And it matters. Your orgasm yeah. matters. <laughs> <laughs> that definitely matters. You know what? I think that's a great way to wrap it up. But mm -hmm. we can't head out until you guys <laughs> drop your social media, your website. Where can people find you? For the people who may want to hit you up and yes, um, maybe inquire about a threesome, foursome, <laughs> or more more some. More some. Where can they? Where can they find the both of you? Well, we got a new website. Yeah. Okay. And it's sexperts with a S. D D Passion. 
So, um, dot com. Dot com. You can go in there and take a look at all of our stuff. You can watch us on HBO Max now. Mm -hmm. um, yes. This is Life with Lisa Lane. This is Life with Lisa Lane. You guys are great. We were, I think we were the best out of yeah. everybody. But you know. So, <laughs> you guys, that, that, was in, that was in New Orleans. Yes, right? yeah. yes. Season six. Season six, episode says seven of This is Life with Lisa Link. And we're on Instagram, DV Passion. T, um, Twitter. Twitter. DV Passion. YouTube. Um, Only fans, Lady V. <laughs> she got a TikTok. I'm getting my soon. I got my TikTok, yes. Don't and, judge me. <laughs> and we can't forget, I'm an author. So my, my book is called The Buy In Me. Um, you can get it from Amazon. Um, you can just type in The Buy In Me. It's on Amazon Prime as well. For my Prime in the description. Yes. And yes. Um, if you want to sign copy, you can hit me up on my Facebook at Lady V. Or you can hit me up on Instagram, DB Passion. And also, um, next month, we will be in Chicago yes, for Exotica. Exotica. April 29th through May 1st. So <laughs> definitely, if you're in Chicago... Come see Face Sitting Live. Yes. In come get an autographed copy of Lady V's book. Come take a and, picture. And uh, yeah, come take a picture. Get a booty hug and rub. Mm. Get so, a booty hug and rub. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's out there. So if you guys get some uh, some DMs and some and some dates, yeah. of course. you know. I got you. Definitely. We gotta come back and talk about it in round five. Yes. I'm Is there gonna be a round five? You know round it's gonna five. be a round of five. Of course. <laughs> in Chicago? Oh, I'm working on that right now. That's why when you said, when you told me those dates, I was like, let me see what I can put together. Yes. yes. So yes. that's what I'm yes. talking yes. about. Yes. Lady V, D Black, it's always a pleasure. Mwah. Thank you so much, and we will catch y'all next time. Mwah.